today I'm going to be doing a very different video than I normally do on the channel. Indeed, I'm going to be realising my childhood dream, and that is to drive an E46 M3 CSL. I've actually got a picture over here, it's taken back in 2010, and it was a wallpaper of the CSL. Now I get to actually drive that car, which is absolutely awesome. Now before doing so, you might be wondering why on earth is there an E46 over here? Well, this is my own E46 M3. It's not the purest dream. It has an SMG gearbox, very much like the CSL. It has a soft top, although I quite like that because it allows you to not only enjoy the weather in the rare occasions in the UK, but also allows you to enjoy your engine and also your exhaust system. It also has somewhat of a party trick. If you open up the door halfway and then lift it up, yes, it goes up like a Lamborghini door, which I find absolutely ridiculous. Now, before you slam me, this was done before I actually own the car. It's done by the previous owner or the previous owners, I'm not really sure. They also fitted sports style suspension, which is an absolute dream when you're going around the track, but absolutely horrid when you're going around rougher terrain. Now in this video, I'm gonna be comparing my E46 M3 to the E46 M3 CSL and giving you my honest, raw opinion about it. And also I'm gonna be drafting up my father, who's not only a mechanic for the last, what, 40 odd years, but also has worked on this car for the period of time that we've actually owned it, which at the time of making this video is around six years. Now, before proceeding, I should quickly mention my shirt. That is from Sadikis. He's a famous CSGO caster. You can see it's got E46 GT3, and yes, he owns the top spec variant. And no, this is not sponsored by Sadikis. I actually bought the shirt a few years ago, and he actually ended up signing it at the top, which I just thought was quite an honor. Anyway, let's get into this video, shall we? And so now we're on the road, and I'm with my father, and we're driving to Farnborough. So Dad, do you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Hello. Um, so Dad, obviously you've been a car mechanic for the last, what, 40 years? How, how long has it been? Almost. Almost 40 years. It shows with your white hair. And still learning. Still learning. Um, so yeah, what's happened to this beer? Obviously I know, but if you want to share with the viewers some of, some of the things that you've done to this car. Yeah, we bought it um, as a gearbox problem um, yeah. car, yeah. and then um, obviously uh, to do the SMG gearboxes, you better not to cut the corners and be economical, and rather than five items, you just change one or two and say back on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, you really got to change every single item, starting from salmon um, relay. Yeah. Uh, to to the pump, to the gear position sensor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are so many little things, you know, the hydraulics. Um, really, it's it's maybe fifteen hundred pounds rather yeah. than three or four hundred. Say I've done a quarter of it, and I'm going to sell it, but that's not honest. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, with all of that, by the way, that's not even. That's just looking at the parts, let alone you've got the labour on top yeah, of that. Yeah, the labour on top of it. What it is, you know, between sixty to 70,000 with the SMGs, you've got to change all those pumps and uh, stuff you've got. Uh, it's the same as automatic cars, say for an argument's sake, if it goes for 100,000, yeah. and then it needs replacing, repairing it, it could be from 1,500 pounds to 4,000 yeah. pounds. Or with a manual, you've got to change the complete clutch and the hydraulics. Yeah. Um, it's the same as SMG. Um, there's no point of saving um, hundred pounds not to change yeah. um, one or two little items. No, I mean, apart um, from the SMG stuff, you've also done other things to the car. So you've done um, the prop shaft was the other one. The wishbones. Yeah, the was donuts. Yeah, the donuts on the prop shaft. Yeah. Um, the SMGs are a um, little bit um, um, with the trouble with the gear changing. Yeah. Um, so it's got that um, um, the rough gear changing, and that uh, causes some play. Yeah. On the actual um, the donuts. So yeah, what, uh, on what, the prop, prop shaft. I remember noticing it to you. What it was is that when we were driving at maybe more than 50 miles an hour, the car started vibrating. That's right. And then yeah. I remember, yeah, you, then you changed it and the, the issue went away. Yeah. Um, and then it came back again and it went again. I don't know what it was, something around that line. Yeah. So. Well, anyway, that could be a bad 
balancing a prop shaft, it could be the drive shafts, yeah. uh, it could be the center bearing which we've changed, yeah. um, wheel balancing, there's a number of items there. Uh, so yeah, I mean there's a lot of things that my father has changed um, on the car, even aesthetic stuff. So for example, um, the likes of the speakers, they were completely blown out. Um, the wheels, we got them diamond cut. The, um, the lights, just changing them all up. Um, effectively, this car was kind of used and abused and we're still going to the process of doing different things to it and making sure that the car is effectively just a little bit, not saying in a new, newer condition, but just a little bit less abused or doesn't look as or feel as abused as it was. But now we've come to a stage where the car actually feels really nice. So anyway, with all of that in mind, we're gonna get to Farnborough. I'm gonna recommence when we get to Farnborough and that's because when we get to BMW and we're gonna pick up the CSL and give both of our honest opinions about the CSL having owned this car. So yeah. Yeah, and so, I've never driven one. You've never driven one, it's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've never yeah. <laughs> Neither have I. This makes us both true. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, catch you guys very soon. So we've just arrived at BMW Farnborough, you'll be able to see someone get into the building and I've got the CSL key in my hand and Dad's got my key. <laughs> so I'm going to go pick it up uh, while Dad waits over here and I'll come out with the CSL. So I'll be right back. <laughs> so right now I'm in the car park which is literally just like a two minute walk and you can see the CSL right there. I mean you can't miss it can you? Look at that beauty. So you've got loads of BMWs over here but then this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, it looks better in person, honestly. That looks absolutely stunning. Wow. Look. Wow. What a car. What a car. That looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to say that a lot now. Anyway, I'm going to drive the car. It's gonna open, there you go, central locking, always works. That good old spoiler, that lip on that spoiler. Look at this, and of course, all important badge, <laughs> the CSL badge, and that nice diffuser at the back. Wow, so I've seen a lot of this car obviously, but seeing it in the flesh. Right, anyway, in, in, enough of this, let's jump in. Right, so, first start. Doing it with my left hand, which feels odd. Someone previously driving this had it on a... Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. if my camera's gonna pick it up. Oh, lovely. Right, we're gonna get on the drive. Not gonna rev it because we just started it. We're gonna let the oil turn up and then drive it in a little bit. But yeah, 28,000 miles on the clock. But my God, it looks lovely. So there we have it. We have got the CSL right next to my E46 M3 as well, side by side, love it. So now, obviously logically, I'm gonna drive the CSL, Dad's gonna drive my car, I'm gonna drive the CSL, Dad's insured on the CSL as well, and so we're gonna have both be able to drive it, and basically, compare and contrast notes, let's put it that way. <laughs> right, catch you in a bit. So now we're just gonna drive I'm not really sure where, but we're going to drive somewhere and Dad's going to follow me in my car. So, let's go and drive off. So straight away, first impressions come from my car. For first, the feel of it, the seats are just so nice. The steering wheel is just nice as well. Um, the, interior, the interior just feels lovely. Um, and it just feels a bit more of a 
racing premium type of experience. It just feels just that all bit more, well, just all that bit more premium. Um, and quite frankly, it's just lovely to feel. Um, now, in terms of the driving, obviously we've just gotten off the road, so I just have to wait for my, <laughs> my dad to come and follow me. Um, and he's coming on his way, I guess. And um, yeah, he's coming around. I'll go around a few times on the roundabout. <laughs> Sorry, it's obviously unscripted, so you can imagine. Um, and uh, yeah, the first thing is that the steering wheel, or so I say the front wheels feel a little bit stiffer. Um, than I was expecting. I was, I was expecting it to feel a lot more, well, um, a lot um, a lot lighter. And um, yeah, that's just not the case. It feels just a bit more stiffer. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go over here. So my dad's behind me now. So we've got some footage as well. And uh, it'll be quite an interesting sight for anyone seeing this for the first time. They'll be like seeing two E46s following each other. Um, one of which is the CSL and the other one has a GoPro mounted on it, which I just find a bit, um, just a bit hilarious anyway. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just wanting to warm up the car before I want to do any revving. I know traditionally people turn on the car, start revving, but it's not what I want to do with this car. I want to take care of it. It's the same I do with my car, just treat it with care and it will treat you back with care. So we've got some national speed limit roads over here but obviously going at around 45 miles an hour is a little bit slower than one might want to but um, yeah I can't wait to take this around the country roads and see how it feels like and um, and also hear that noise of that engine <laughs> love it all right see you in a bit Right, so we stopped off and had a quick little bite to eat and you can see the cars are in the background there with another Audi, but um, yeah, my first impressions of driving it is that I was actually surprised as to how light it feels um, in terms of when you're driving a straight line speed. However, I do feel that the gearbox has a significant kick and I was actually expecting it not to be the case because I felt like the CSL will be kind of tuned to perfection, but there's a definite kick each time you're shifting, and I don't get that on my car, um, which is really surprising, really, really surprising. Anyway, what we're going to do now is switch cars, so um, Dad's going to drive a CSL, and I'm going to drive in front of him with my uh, M3, and um, yeah, we're going to stop off and then share opinions and see what Dad makes of it, so yeah, let's tune in. By driving a CSL? Following M3 in France, uh, not the same year 2003. Um, CSL has got upper hand by 25 horsepower. It'd be interesting to catch it.
Right, so we've just stopped off and we've both driven the CSL now. So what do you think? What do you, what do you make of it? Oh, it's brilliant. It's such a power comparison with ordinary the M3. Um, the shifting is better. Um, especially the brake, amazing. I think it's got different discs in the front, or slightly bigger. I don't know by diameter, but it, it stops. Feels better. Better than a normal M3. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it's it's quite a, it's quite a difference, isn't it? It's, I think it's the weight, the weight the of it. Weight, possibly the torque and the extra twenty-five horsepower. Yeah. I think the combination of those three, uh, yeah. it makes it slightly a bit more nimble. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what do you think of the like? Because I was talking in the in the video of the, the gear shifts. What do you feel of gear shifts? It's, you... it's, it's good, all the SMGs they've got this um, lagging, yeah, the lag and then ticks. This is slightly better. I don't know, is it the low mileage, 28,000 mile on the clock? Could be. They bought 2003, regardless. Yeah. But being 50 or 1,000 mile less. Yeah. And, um, the performance, I think, yeah. I think, you know, um, maybe that's what it is. <laughs> you know, could be. feeling a bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? He's gonna hit two cars. He's gonna hit two, not one. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. So, um, well, I'm gonna do some driving, a bit more driving. I think I'm gonna jump in the CSL now. Yeah. And you can swap get into it, it swap it. See how it is. How yeah. it feels again. Yeah. And then have your opinion. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See you in a bit. Right. See you in a bit. <laughs> interesting what my father said about it feeling just so much more nimble and it, it does feel that way it just feels just that little bit lighter um, but those gear shifts there's that definite clunky feel which I just was not expecting um, clearly some stuff had been done to my car to kind of bring down those uh, shifts to make them feel a little bit more seamless but um, yeah wow I was not expecting that but at lower speeds where over here if I were to shift up or shift down you just don't feel the gear shifts and of course then those purists will come out and say yeah well if you had a manual car you would feel it a little bit more um, but yeah it's, it, it, it's just a phenomenal car and just such a great feel just such a lovely driver's feel and you feel quite planted down in the ground when you are driving as, as far as I'm aware I'm not really sure I've really played around with it but I don't find that there was a way to lift up the seat a little bit more there's a little latch which brings down the seat for rear occupants if they want to come in or out of the vehicle but there's no way of raising up that seat and therefore making it feel just a little bit higher I like to be a little bit higher up and funnily enough my father said the same thing I'm just under six foot and I think he's just a bit shorter than me and um, yeah we both feel quite planted down but it's almost like a race car you're kind of planted down straight down and you've got the wheel kind of up front almost by your head height and you're just peering over so yeah it's just fantastic fantastic type of driver's feel and the way that the car performs is just phenomenal <laughs> Absolute dream! 
So this is where I was missing. This is this is what I was missing when it comes to my own E46. I must say, like in terms of the feel of here, when it's going around corners, I can only imagine if you were to go around the track, you would just feel such amount of joy and well, just life coming into it. This is where the CSL was what it was made for to go around corners at speed and just feel just so well connected it just oh fantastic this is bringing an absolute amount of joy to my face hopefully you can tell but also because of well my childhood dream to drive an e46 csl was has become a reality and the guys at bmw you know who you are thank you so much for making this happen i can't can't stress it enough and my father is also like ecstatic about it because it's just such a privilege to drive such an incredible machine and yeah just to have free reign of it just incredible just absolutely incredible so yeah i can definitely say going around corners at speed that's where this car comes alive and this is where you feel the power of the csl and what it's really made for my god absolutely love it absolutely love it <laughs> oh god so good so good and so now we've dropped off the e46 csl and we are driving back home we're almost home actually and um yeah i just thought to share both our opinions about the csl dad what what did you make of it after well, all that driving I I, I loved it. Yeah. Uh, never driven one before, and then um, um, I don't have the chance to drive another one, <laughs> especially you know my age. <laughs> uh, but suspension, the brakes, amazing compared with with this one here, yeah. M3. Absolutely. Uh, I think that's the thing that kind of we were talking about it, but the thing that kind of stuck out for us is the fact that the brakes. The suspension was done to perfection. Obviously, because it's lightweight, it feels a little bit more nimble, and, right. and it, it gives you that kind of. That, it's a bit more powerful as well. But I don't think it's the powerful. I think it's the, the the combination of it being more powerful and the fact that it's a little bit more lightweight gives yep. you that experience. And obviously, the seating, that racing bucket type of seat, yeah, completely different from sitting in here, which kind of feels kind of too comfortable almost, you know, it's quite soft. You glue into it, yeah. don't you? Although we didn't, we both didn't like the driving heights. No. I mean, like, obviously it's it's a, you know, a racing or yeah, a car that was made for that type of scenario, but it was, yeah. it was a bit too low. It felt like your, your steering wheel was up here, I'm exaggerating. That's you know? right, yeah. But, um, yeah, and then in terms of the, the gears, I think we talked about it before, but that's the thing that really did kind of stick out for me that you hear that kind of shunt, that dunk, dunk, <laughs> when it's changing gears. You can feel it and you can hear it. But I think we both agree to say that I think again it's a combination of it having more power, being lighter weight, and having shorter gear shifts means that it's, well, it, it feels a little less smooth than this. Well, it's a SMG, isn't it? Yeah. That's, <laughs> it's that's, SMG. That's, that's what it's got to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can see I can see people who watch this video are like BMW purists. They're like, yes, go dad. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, the other thing is, you know, um, every other item is totally different. Yeah. Uh, with the ordinary BMW, especially with M3, which you think it's standard with M3 is a standard with CSL, but it, obviously it's not. Um, even the badges, never mind the brakes, suspension <laughs> badges, yeah. rear torsion bars, yeah. um, the the air intake. Yeah. Oh my God, it's not just the extra power. Yeah. And the torque. There's so many things different. Even the bootlet. Yeah, the bootlet. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's funny actually. It's um in that segment when I, we got to the pub and I was doing it myself, you're in the background checking underneath the CSL. You're like, what's going on? So yeah, that's funny. But yeah. yeah it's like a three quarters of inch, you know, it's bigger the boot lid. Yeah. Same as which M3 is bigger compared with the ordinary. Yeah. Um, three thirty. Uh, three thirty or whatever, and then. 
see they've done it in such a way you know you can't mix and match and then cheat yeah if you know what I mean you yeah, know. yeah. Uh, making it's fair enough yeah yeah uh, but no. lots of fun lots of fun and obviously all of this was possible thanks to the guys at BMW UK so again thank you so much for having not only me but my father as well I think safely say we both had a great day driving the car and it was quite a unique experience going into this car jumping into that and vice versa and constantly switching and the ability to do that was great because I don't think most people will have that opportunity to drive an SMG E46 M3 which is theirs and then jump into a CSL and kind of mix and match I think that's really cool so anyway so, so yeah. yeah. So thanks BMW UK for having us and letting us drive um, the precious E46 M3 CSL. And yeah, with that, if you want to see more videos like this, which is obviously very different from what I do on the channel regularly, um, definitely do let us know in the comment section below. Um, Dad watches my videos, so he will see your comments as well. If you've got any mechanical questions, pose them and I can forward them on to you. <laughs> You'll probably say come to my garage. If I can. <laughs> if you can. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching everyone and don't forget to like, subscribe and favourite and share and all that good stuff and yeah, very much appreciated. So yeah, so from myself and my father.